So dear LinkedIn community, Composites Launch members, Jack visitors, Jack exhibitors, we are now at the peak of Jack world. I have with me the Jack Group CEO, Eric Piaget. Thank you for being part of our Thank show. Thank you, Ilkay. So Composites 360 on tour is our motto. And of course, we want to know the latest and the news from Eric. One thing that I would like to touch base with him is how was the exhibition? In particular, there was a early start of the exhibition, the Monday, and maybe we can start with the Monday because in my opinion, Eric, it becomes more and more important the Monday. Is this a trend? Well, in fact, uh the, the show uh, is usually three days long. Yes. But um, we uh, this year we uh, we have made some uh, add-ons, some extensions. Yes. And especially already on Monday, yeah. we started with uh, um, uh, an event in Paris, mm -hmm. uh, downtown Paris, to address uh, the potential of composites for architecture, construction, infrastructural building, and so on. The goal was to present to end users from this industry, so people from the, co the construction uh, or infrastructure industry, what composite can offer. Yeah. So we had a very nice presentation of best practices from all, all around the world about construction. And on top of that, it's, um, it, this is also supported by some great news about uh, the norms and standards in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, the um, American Concrete Institute president uh, has uh, presented the, the latest standards mm -hmm. for reinforcing concrete uh, and um, that's a, a big step forward not only for America because it's also an example for other countries who are using that kind that similar standards in Europe also uh, the, 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 the soon publications of the euro codes mm -hmm. uh, are, are great news because this means that there will be some recommendations and, and standards to make the, uh, the, 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 re, the, the use of a, a, a structural elements uh, with composite so we started earlier in the, on Monday we also we also have um, some additional sessions. Uh, we had, for example, a CEO breakfast. Yep. So it, it's not only to to start earlier for the sake of starting earlier. It was also to to have some uh, new topics in the um, in the show and to give the let's say the, to, to set the stage for some strategic topics mm -hmm. for the leaders of the industry. Mm -hmm. So the first CEO um, breakfast has been organized with the European Association of the Composite mm -hmm. Industry and welcoming uh, um, a, a European Commission officer, mm -hmm. policy officer, um, who has presented the, the, the latest uh, status of the Green Deal, what it means for the composite industry as an opportunity. Sometimes people uh, could say the Green Deal is, is a, is a, creates constraints, but mm. it's also an opportunity yes. to get um, innovation funding, to get support, to accelerate the Green Deal. And that's a, a very interesting point because um, from a, there is a, a, a strategy presented and proposed by the Commission last week, mm. so one week before the show, yeah. um, addressing this um, the potential and the, uh, the, 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 let's say, the strategic importance of advanced materials mm -hmm. for the industry in Europe. And uh, four big application sectors are concerned by this um, by this uh, policy by by this uh, by, by this proposition. Uh, it's electronics, it's uh, wind energy, it's construction, and it's mobility. So um, these are uh, essential uh, elements because this this is showing that Europe wants to have a a, a strategy on on uh, industry and especially on composites. Yeah. So great news. We also had a new format again in the morning uh, that was on day two, uh, what we called uh, the view from the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had the honor to welcome Mr. Peter Huntsman, so mm -hmm. president and CEO and, and chairman of Huntsman Corporation, yes. a major player in the yeah, industry, absolutely. who has been uh, presenting his view, his, po his point of view is uh, based on his deep understanding of the macroeconomics, mm. the industry, uh, to, the, to the global audience. So this is showing how important, how, how how relevant the show is also from a strategic point of view because it's the place where the leading companies are exhibiting but also where the leaders are yes. and they are coming to 
to address the audience, to talk, to, to give strategic directions. We also had news on the show floor. As you have seen, we have a brand new demo zone. Mm -hmm. So uh, on the other side, from a strategic point of view, but up to making composites, Operational. you can see yes. how to make composites with uh, uh, an extraordinary large additive manufacturing um, mm -hmm. uh, equipment or uh, and a, a zone which helps to understand uh, how things are made with the latest technology from, uh, from the partners of this demo zone. So as you can see, a lot of new things have happened this year at, at Jack World um, to keep innovating, addressing new, new topics and making sure that the, the show is, is the leading show and is, is by to, to be a leader you, you always need to innovate. So you got uh, a lot of opinion leaders and this is also something that I'm driving on LinkedIn on the communication saying you need thought leadership and this a whole organization here and the whole exhibitors level or the exhibitors level opinions are coming out and also what I have realized a strong trend is many people keep things very close to their chest until Jack comes and then they open the announcements yes so like for example we have HRC they have the yeah. Italian company they have announced this Lang Sauner is celebrating 100 years and they made a press of 10,000 tons and this is really in a, in a press technology in campus it's really great and I wanted to come back to this uh, breakfast the Commissioner said one of the ambitious targets of the European Commission is to have Europe as a continent CO2 neutral. Yes, it, it, it's it, a very ambitious it, one. It, it's part of the Green Deal, which is an yes. ambitious uh, uh, ambition in a yes. way. This strategy um, and, and the, the focus on, on this target is driving a lot of innovation, a lot of transformations. Yes. As I said, it could be seen as a as a, 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 as a threat or as a constraint, no, no. but it's also a great it's a, opportunity it's because yeah. I think we are all convinced, at least those who know what compositor are about, that making light more durable, yeah. um, more efficient uh, products, uh, thanks to composite, is a way to achieve green deals. Yes. And uh, if you talk about new energies, what would be the wind energy without composites? Absolutely. What would be uh, the uh, hydrogen uh, transportation in, in the future composites. without the storage and yeah. the transportation of hydrogen? So there are plenty of, uh, of opportunities for, for composites. And of course, the, um, the, the, this strategy, the, this ambitious target but the strategy to achieve this target are really uh, promising for, for, for the composite industry. One challenge is of course to, to take this as an opportunity for many companies based in Europe to take advantage of the fundings. So there is a need to better uh, see where raise, yeah. uh, where they can get support and funding. Yes. Uh, what is the process to do that? And that is actually one of the concerns we are having, unfortunately, local in Germany, where a fund, top we say in Germany, has just gone in the air with 140 millions. But we've discussed this also with Composites United and AVK. Stay tuned also on these videos. So we have to perhaps break down this regional thinking and I like the idea of having 2050 a European continent being CO2 neutral and Germany is not an exception to that neither is France we have to do this in a collaborative manner and that's great because I'm hearing on the floor a lot of projects that are cross-border we all have to save the planet as a whole yep. all countries all continents and as you said in Europe uh, it, it cannot be the only task of uh, Germany Italy France yeah. or, or whatever I mean it's 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 we have to coordinate the efforts yeah and this industry as many industry is global the fact that there are, there are there is a teamwork there is a network of companies with different countries and so on working on the same direction with a EU strategy on this can be very helpful so coming from the strategic level let's go a bit in the operational side yes. because our community is always of course how was it uh, how yes. successful was this show if I may give you some some sort of feedback the feedback was we have uh, a good traffic but we have seen more quality coming in um, since or after the pandemic the feeling is quality has raised yeah. I don't know how to judge this uh, important piece of information but um, quality is always sort of beats quantity as we say but we sometimes also need the quantity of quality 
course to get the message spread. Well, how do you how do uh, you first of all interpret it, this? It's it's really the first year after the COVID times yes. where we get all countries back together. We had uh, 22 and 23 editions, but there were still some constraints for some countries to come yeah. to Europe, to Paris, or to plan their exhibition and so on. Yeah. So this time, I, I must say we are back to normal, mm -hmm. which means that all countries can be there, can exhibit, can attend, of course. And uh, you know, Jack World cannot be Jack World if you don't get the attendance of all participants. So yes. from a quantitative point of view and from a let's say an international point of view, we have now this year uh, all countries represented, so many yep. as exhibiting, as exhibitors, but also as visitors. So that's the quantitative element. There is also the need for uh, business opportunities, of course, and um, uh, this is a B2B show, so people are here to to have the, uh, uh, the, the, the backbone of the exhibition is business. Return, uh, they want a return on absolutely. their investment. Yes. There is also yeah. uh, inspiration, which is yeah. important, especially for end users or for people, do never forget that, who are willing to be inspired by composite, who want to understand composite. So exactly. we must accept that there is a business uh, traffic, let's say, but on top of that we also have people who are who are coming to understand what composite can bring to their business which yeah. is a way to expand exactly. the adoption of composite yeah. and finally especially on, on the last day um, we try also to attract young students mm -hmm. young talents mm -hmm. um, to talk about re uh, careers in composite to talk about uh, the, the the future of young engineers in composite and there are many ways to attract them to show them that we are the cool kids on the block you mm -hmm. know if you were work in composites. Yes. First of all, it's not unusual work. You will build boats, uh, sport equipment, Formula One, electric cars, uh, planes, uh, windmills, and yes. so on. It's, it's a, there's a huge market behind uh, the, the, the composite industry. It's also a place where you do not only make hardware. Mm -hmm. You do also a lot of digital things. Exactly. Simulation, artificial intelligence, uh, testing, and so on. So uh, I often say that there are three pillars in this industry. The materials, mm -hmm. the processes, the manufacturing, and more and more the digital side of it. Because along the whole value chain yeah. from chemistry up to end of life, recycling, tracking, there is a, a whole world of data to be managed and to be uh, 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 managed in a smarter way with new tools like artificial intelligence. Yeah. And with digitalization, of course, you don't only think of software that is, for example, controlling a 3D uh, manufacturing device. It is the connection. It's getting the automation yeah, it, process it, in line to increase productivity yeah and even further it, it, it is a way to enable um, absolutely a lot of uh, uh, to, to enable a lot of, a lot of solutions mm -hmm. to challenge yeah. uh, to, to tackle the challenge we have, we have in front of us uh, let me give you an example simulating with digital twins with uh, digital technology apart before you build it yeah. avoid to make uh, prototypes that are wor not working and to have scrap to have waste and yeah. so on um, it's a way to improve the efficiency uh, before you produce when you produce if you have defects and so on if you mm. can avoid them and also afterwards to track to be able to uh, identify the materials to recycle them mm -hmm. because another big challenge that the other the, the industry is addressing uh, very strongly is sustainability absolutely and yeah. all kinds all aspects of sustainability so reducing the energy consumption to produce to manufacture, um, recycle the materials, or repurpose the materials. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a full chain of um, elements that can en enable uh, um, a more sustainable industry, a more mm -hmm. circular industry. Yeah. Um, considering that the industry is doing its work on sustainability but is also a key enabler of sustainability in the rest of the, the industries you know and that's the beauty about Jack world also when, when, when you're talking these things come to my mind you have the full value chain here and today you have to think in a full value chain you th what, what we discussed on the floor was always you think from the end because we need to have the recycling part the end of the life of the product uh, up until 
the front where the materials are sourced and, and, and melted into a fiber, so the full value chain, and that gives you a lot of possibilities to increase sustainability. Exactly, it's, um, it's along the whole value chain, it's also designing from the beginning for sustainability. Yes. We see examples of parts who are really um, developed and, 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 and built in order to enable an easy uh, end-of-life process management, yeah. also to get the traceability, a very interesting technologies in, in, in that sector. And another point that we, 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 I think we will address and we addressed in, in the construction sector is to make sure that we mention the durability of composites. Mm -hmm. Because um, sometimes if you, um, if you can produce a good uh, or an infrastructure or a house or things that can last much longer than the others, yeah. we're talking about bridges, for example, that can last 100 years. Absolutely. Yeah. You save the rebuild of the bridge yeah, yeah. after 50 years, for yeah, example, yeah. or 40 years. So we had one startup booster winner in Salzburg, Carbo Refit, for example, exactly. where they said rather than tearing down things, keep keep the substance alive by Absolutely. composites, for example. Wonderful. So the show itself so far has been, from my view, great as someone who was uh, on the floor all the time. Uh, from, from your point of view, uh, the general facet, general conclusion? The general conclusion is that we have reached a new level. Mm -hmm. First of all, we have offset the, 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 the pandemic yeah. impact on the it's industry, in on blood. the show. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but the, um, the, the, we have offset that and we have uh, opened new opportunities for uh, business, for networking, for innovation. Yeah. Um, and as I mentioned, we have also opened um, strategic discussions. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also invited and we took the opportunity of the Olympic and Paralympic Games that are oh. also so in Paris in 24, yes. like Jack yes, World yes, 24. Yes. This is a topic that I was not so much involved in, but maybe you can give us some uh, yes. uh, very fast update on that well, one. That we, sounds exciting too. We, we started with a, a very interesting uh, presentation from the International Olympic Committee Sustainability Director, mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Marie Salois, who has explained how the Olympic Committee has also target to uh, ta is also targeting uh, uh, net zero uh, ambition and how they make it and of course when you consider that 50% more than 50% of the disciplines of the summer Olympics are using composites yeah that for the winter Olympics you have more than 80% wow. okay. of the disciplines that are using composites, composites in some you form can imagine shape. Yeah. how composites and sports are linked yeah so if the Olympic Committee and and also the federations and so on uh, that are managing the different disciplines if they want to achieve uh, a more sustainable um, uh, ambition and, uh, and have a, a, a reduced CO2 uh, footprint and so on, they will have to uh, adopt new uh, methods, new materials, maybe new regulations yeah. to recycle the sporting equipment goods, to use different materials. Yes. Um, so in the future, we will see more and more initiatives than this. So it was a great opportunity to show case here at the show in a special exhibition uh, the history of sports and composite by the way there is a, a flyer to be downloaded on our website okay. so uh, we will link that also yeah, pre yeah. presenting the, yeah. Uh, the, the the history of sports and composite mm -hmm. we will see during the, the Olympic and Paralympic Games a lot of innovations mm -hmm. as usual mm -hmm. uh, that are not well known today because it's secret yes they will be on the track yeah. on the field during the Olympics and we will see them we may report about this maybe next uh, in, in our next uh, broadcast. So it's been a great coincidence with the Olympics coming up and Jack World prior to that. Yes, and it's an opportunity to show that we have parallel objectives, yeah. uh, or con or converging yeah. objectives on sustainability yeah. and to highlight the importance of uh, composites in the sports industry, yeah. um, which is again showing how cool it is to work in composites. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I just said on the show floor, it's uh, always a question of a mindset. So these people are mind uh, like
like-minded. The mindset is more or less the same. And if you look at uh, sporting industry, the air, uh, aircraft, aerospace industry, or the modern form of transportation, electronic, uh, electric vehicles, hydrogen, the thinking is always progressive in yeah. in innovation and technology. And this is uh, this is something that drives this industry. We we, we cannot hide that, that there are challenges. There are challenges Absolutely, uh, in terms uh, of market, yeah. of production, raw of, uh, materials, raw materials, yeah. energy prices. Yeah. And so on. The, these are the day-to-day -day challenges yes. of, of the industry, and, and, and especially for the for, for the European countries, for example, it's it's a, it's an important topic at, at this time. Um, the but on top of that, there is the the permanent um, let's say um, uh, the permanent search for innovation, for sustainable solutions, and composites in the uh, in their various forms are bringing a lot of new technologies yes. and the new solutions, and they are inventing the new materials, the new fibers and the new solutions for the future. And yeah, it's the beauty of composites, yeah, you got 3D structures, yeah, you, you if as long as you are creative, there's nearly no boundary because for each one we have a certain process. Exactly. You, you can use protrusion for the rods, you can uh, use the RTM for pressing, you got the autoclave for huge parts, so yeah, that, that's any, the, anything is uh, in composites possible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on one side the complexity of composites, yeah. because there are many processes yes. but it's also a way to address very different challenges absolutely because yeah. uh, producing uh, wind blades for wind energy or solar panels or battery case for electric vehicles or uh, sporting goods are not the same uh, this same process they are yeah. not the same processes yeah. so um, but that's the, the the beauty in a way of the tech of the composite industry to be able to propose different manufacturing processes uh, some for small small production units or for high rate production to match the needs of various industries absolutely shall we as a last point give an outlook uh, after Jack is always before the Jack and by the way dear community this is the last video of the three days but I will now display and show the videos that I've took these were 16 by the way Eric on the three days and we will start with this one so we are reversing the number because this is the the, the summary and we want you to have the summary first and then you can dive into the the other ones but after Jack is before Jack world 2025 exactly we are already preparing a, a Jack world 25 in terms first of all of uh, stand and, and show organization yeah. so we, the exhibitors are confirming their participation for for next year uh, we have additional co exhibitors coming too and um, it's also a way to to start thinking about the innovations for next year yes. based on what we've done this year what can we do uh, uh, next year and it's also the time to talk about our forums because yes. I, as you know after Jack World is you have the Jack time. forums <laughs> yes and uh, this year we will have forums uh, again in the Dach region yes uh, especially in Stuttgart, Stuttgart. Very Stuttgart. nice city and uh, with a strong uh, community of composite and mobility. The South Germany, which exactly. is closer to Switzerland, also Austria, locally. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And we also have the uh, Jack Forum Italy on the agenda, mm -hmm. uh, Jack Forum Southeast Asia. So uh, a, a lot of, uh, of new meeting points, as well as uh, other um, uh, country visits mm -hmm. where we start planning the pavilions of the countries, yes. the pavilion of the various regions. Yeah. So the activity is starting to accelerate after we have left the lockdown so uh, you are already f faithful that you have even announced and Carol announced 2026 in Cologne and I was surprised about that but of course I'm happy to hear that so you are very confident that you can now increase the pace of your expansion well it, it's 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 I would not say it's an expansion it's uh, it's to uh, to fit the demand and the, the need for meeting uh, yes. in in the different regions yes um, to uh, to enable the, the the local community so in, in for example in the Dar region or so in Italy or in Southeast Asia to, to get together at the local level yes to make business at local level yeah. uh, this doesn't this doesn't prevent to come to Jack world but yeah. it's a way to have a uh, yeah the, the, the 
the local uh, needs uh, to address the local needs of business activities or inspiration and and also visit factories and and, and, and understand the, the local ecosystem so um, yeah it's complementary absolutely final words my thank you and congratulations also to your team absolutely now I'm talking with you of course you are the head and you are giving the direction and the strategy but you have a very efficient team it's time to thank your team for this grand really performance that they are giving and this is a high performance on a constant level i have to say you know maybe you have also a word for your team no, I, through linkedin I, of course i have a i mean and it's again it's also the essence of composite manufacturing it's it's teamwork yes you cannot make composites without teamwork yes that's a, a must in the industry but organizing jack world is also a teamwork yeah we need a, a, a strong team at jc and they have made a, a lot of efforts to yeah. innovate to, yeah. to 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 make it possible mm -hmm. um, and they make it also with our partners mm -hmm. uh, with all the suppliers involved in in making this event what it is but um, the uh, this work is a way to allow the exhibitors the participants to make it happen on their side you know we we are setting the stage as a team at jack we are setting some uh, global activities and so on but then people from the industry are making it happen you know yeah so you you, you give basically the the infrastructure you make the roads the houses but the people have to party themselves in the house and on the streets right exactly you, you know our mission it, it's our it's now our, it's our signature it's connecting the world with composites yes it's connecting the world of composite together yes. making the connections between buyers sellers uh, students academics uh, research uh, industry um, but it's also connecting the world of composite with the rest of the world the um, end user sectors the the people who don't know about composites yeah. we want to connect them with the industry so um, connecting is our uh, is our mission is your daily and, job um, it's your mission absolutely. it's your and, vision and, and, and this the is purpose why of why our this team is focused sounds. on that yes uh, to, to make it possible and, and, and I thank them to 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 be every day focused on that we we, uh, we trust composite we have a passion for composite and we want to connect people around composite and and, and, and at the global level okay and that's a really great word and I think uh, thank you also for your time thank, now Eric thank you for yours because I know you have spent a lot of time also yes, looking yes. at uh, innovative uh, companies uh, meeting people and so on uh, innovation awards everywhere feedback on the innovation awards I uh, visited some of the pavilions the German pavilions uh, to be honest um, just for my personal side I never really looked at the German pavilions I have to say but there are so many there's yeah, Bavaria absolutely. there's North Rhine-Westfalen there's Saxony there's Berlin um, it, 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 and Composite United it, Composite too, and yeah. okay Composite yeah. United AVK is for me a standard yeah. but these uh, that, that, that I, I came, that came to my consciousness only after you have uh, indicated that to me. Let's have a look at them, and th I was really well recepted. Re received. We made uh, the land Baden-Württemberg, yeah. uh, which will be Stuttgart. In Stuttgart. So exactly. we need to do some follow-ups with these guys, yeah, with Markus Milwig and so on. Um, very, very exciting. Germany is a, is, a, is a strong is a strong partner. Of course, France is really huge. Italy is huge. So I think uh, that was a really a great one. Thank you for your insights. Even after this this late hours, I'm maybe community. You are hearing some dismantling already in the background. Is yeah, going that's on. Life. That's, that's life. That's life. Yeah. This is this is events. This is uh, what we are used to. And yeah, Eric, thank you so much for your uh, passionate uh, work with your team on, on this. And as I said, uh, after Jack is is uh, before Jack, but before that we have the forums. And I'm looking very much forward and to stay, it. Stay tuned to see all the videos. Absolutely. By yes. and, and see yes. you soon uh, online. Uh, and uh, and of course that uh, for the next forum uh, we'll be happy to to meet you there absolutely